Tech team? Hi, welcome to the video. So here's the problem we're looking at. We have a random number x between 0 and 1. And they're telling us it's created by a random number generator, which means that random number generator is just going to give us, at random, some number between 0 and 1. So note these are decimal numbers. Um, and the important thing to keep in mind is that if it's a truly random number generator, then there's an equal probability of any of those numbers appearing. Um, and the probability they're asking it for is what's the probability that the random number we get is less than or equal to 0.58. So to get started here, let's draw a set sketch of the density curve um, because we're gonna, it's going to be helpful to find the probability by thinking of it as an area under the density curve. So if we draw our density curve here, notice we're not thinking about a normal density curve anymore. We're thinking about a probability distribution that takes values from zero. That's the smallest number we could get from this random number generator all the way up to 1. That's the biggest number we could get. And normally, or often, we've been looking at problems where we want to draw a normal shaped curve here, but that's not the case. Here, every number between 0 and 1 has an equal probability of occurring. So our, occurring. So our density function is actually a flat line. Imagine that's perfectly flat right there. Right? Any number from 0 to 1 has an equal chance of taking place. And then we want to think for a minute, well, how high is this density curve? If we keep in mind that the area under a density curve must always be 1, so let's add that piece of information there to our thing. We can say the total area here has to equal 1. And if we remember how to find the area of a box as length times width, well, the length here is 1. So what am I going to get multiply 1 by to have an area of 1? So the width, or the height, actually, as it looks like here has to be 1, so it's 1 unit tall. All right, now let's fill in the value of interest. The value of interest they gave us here is the number 0.58. So if we think about where that falls between 0 and 1, it's just a little bit above the halfway point, maybe about here, 0.58. And the question we're being asked is, what's the probability that the random number we get is less than 0.58? If we draw a line up, we're looking for this area, all the area between 0 and 0.58. So how are we going to calculate that area? Well, it's a rectangle, so we'll come back to that formula from geometry. The area of a rectangle equals the length times the width. We already saw the width. That's the height of this box, is 1. What's the length of that shaded blue area? Well, it goes from 0 to 0.58. So we could do 0.58 minus 0. So the length there is 0.58. So the calculation we're doing here to find the area is 0.58 times 1, which gives us 0.58. So the probability of getting a random number less than 0.58 is going to be 0.58. So it seems like a lot of work to do, perhaps, for that answer. But we want to keep in mind the intuition of what are we actually modeling as we solve a problem like this. Uh, and then check it against our intuition of the, set, of the situation. So we're randomly picking a number between 0 and 1. What's the probability we randomly pick a number less than 0.58? Well, there's a 58% oh, chance. Notice here they gave the answer as a percentage. So I want to be very careful when I write it in not to write it as a decimal, right? We want to convert that decimal to a percentage, and the way we can do that is by multiplying the decimal number times 100 to turn it into 58%. Okay.